everyone. All right, today I am going to start to paint my bedroom. I decided that I'm gonna go room by room uh, in the RV so that I can move things in and not have the entire place disheveled because um, I need to start sleeping here tomorrow. <laughs> so I can't really have it all torn apart. And also the rest of the RV is gonna undergo some demo. So I'm gonna be taking out the dinette and a couch and some chairs and all that kind of stuff and redoing that. So makes sense that I start with my place to sleep. So as you can see behind me, I have three upper cabinets. I have two, can't really see that one, but trust me, there's another um, cabinet like this that has a uh, hanging rod in there. I am sitting on the bed. The bed is 60 inches wide, which holds a queen, um, but the length is only 74 and my mattress is 80, so stay tuned for that. Um, I am using a product called uh, Beyond Paint All-in-One. Uh, I've been reading on the interwebs, as I'm sure you are, and uh, this one really says no stripping, no sanding, no priming, and it is pricey. It is a hundred dollars for this gallon, okay? It is not for the faint of heart, but the reason I did it is because I hate sanding and stripping and priming <laughs> okay so all of these things it promises to do for me i can't stand to do so i'm going to j i just bit the bullet right and it is a very thick paint um it is you know kind of gluey almost um they're very specific about the directions and so i am like you know i'm like a lot of times i am following the directions to a t I am using a 3 8 nap. I am using a very thin, small roller, as you'll see. Um, they say to start by cleaning, but to use a degreaser. Uh, normally, I would go to TSP, right? That's what I usually clean and paint with. And they're like, no TSP. No, no, no TSP. They, they suggested Simple Green. They made a couple, couple other suggestions as well. I just went with Simple Green. I'm like, you told me to use it, I'm using it. I did the spray because I'm lazy and then I wiped it off with a uh, wet sponge to rinse it to make sure that everything's uh, dry and clean and free of product. Um, I don't know how well you can see, but this lovely vinoleum, I don't know what you call this vinyl, but it goes up the back and it goes into the cabinets about halfway. Originally, I was not planning to paint inside the cabinets. Um, my other cabinets that are wood or veneer uh, covered, I'm not painting inside. It's a good finish. This is a very clean trailer. I don't have to worry about covering. I'll put some uh, shelf liner down and I'll be good to go. Like I'm very content with that. But up there, like I can't bear to open that and see that ridiculousness. So I'm gonna be painting that out. I also took off the hardware, the door handle hardware only. Um, so I'm gonna do a big no-no and I'm gonna paint the hinges. <laughs> Okay, which everybody's like, oh, whore, don't, don't paint the hinges. But, and I've seen a lot of beautiful, mwah, beautiful uh, renovations where you have these like nice white cabinets and these just like spots of these beautiful black hinges, which is what this has. This has like perfectly clean, you know, like kind of the rounded, you know, that kind of rounded side hinges. They're beautiful. They're in great shape, but I don't want to see them. And I have sort of a plan to do a bold um, handle, like a longer cabinet pull when I'm done. So I'm also gonna go and I'm gonna fill, I took the handles off and I'm gonna fill all the holes with wood filler, sand them, clean them again, make sure that there's no residue and then start painting. Um, my other plan is to do the uppers in white throughout the RV and then the lowers, uh, really the, the only lowers are the kitchen, but the bedroom kind of has some lowers too. And I'm doing that in what this product calls pewter, which is a dark gray. They have a light gray as well, but I'm doing the dark gray for more contrast. The other reason I'm doing the dark color below is I have dogs, big dogs, and I think that the white is gonna make me insane. <laughs> now this is supposed to be a really durable finish, but I still don't wanna see like dog dirt, right? Around the whole edges and the lower part of the RV. So I'm going to do all the lower cabinets um, dark. And so that includes uh, the lower here. I am not gonna paint the walls. Um, I am instead gonna wallpaper. Uh, so I'm not, you're not gonna see that, but I am gonna paint the ceilings and the upper cabinets throughout. 
Uh, but like I said, I'm just starting with the bedroom today. Uh, what else can I say? Oh, the other really important thing about this, and it's kind of kind of going to screw me up today, is that this paint um, you can do two coats. Uh, you know, between like I think it says um, two to four hours drying time in between coats, which I feel like is a big range because double. Uh, but I'm sure it's humidity and so forth. But the other thing that it says and reading right from the thing is it says um, allow um, seven days for paint to fully bond. And so um, how that screws me up today is, as we said, this is where my bed goes and my mattress goes. And I need to start sleeping here tomorrow night. So I am not going to do the sides and this bottom at this point. Uh, because I need to put my mattress in and the back is going to get wallpapered so I don't have to worry about that today anyway. Um, but what I'm going to do is the next time I have a trip planned away from my RV, like I'm going to a friend's house or something like that, I will paint those um, right before I go. I'm, and then they just leave the mattress up and let it dry and let it cure and let it do its thing. Um, I might, as a result, end up paint or I'm wallpapering then the sides of this just to give me like this cozy nook of wallpaper and that I don't have to go back and paint that. And then I will just go back and paint the lower part, the part where the bed is, uh, the mattress rather sits on. I think that I would like to paint it eventually because I think it would just give it a better, cleaner finish. Uh, this paint also says that while it cures in seven days and you should let it do that, uh, it doesn't fully, um, I guess it bonds in seven days. It doesn't fully cure till you can wash it until 30 days. So this is a paint that, you know, depending on your humidity, depending on the situation, the weather, like all the things, like it's, you really need to give it time to cure. And I want to make sure I do that because A, I don't want a bunch of paint on my sheets and B, I don't want to screw it up after I do all this work. Okay. So today I'm going to paint, uh, I'll show you some of that and uh, maybe do a little time lapse because who wants to watch paint dry? <laughs> Not me. And like I said, we're going to do white up here. We're going to do the lower in dark. I've got a closet like right off camera here that you can kind of see the door for here. That has just shelves. Again, I'm going to leave that alone. And um, that's all I can think of right now. So let's get started. It's all clean and I'm going to fill holes and sand that and then uh, you'll see some paint go on, okay? But you know about filling holes, you know how to do that, and um, you know how to clean things. So we'll paint next. 